I thought I'd do this video with Dahlia because uh, there's a certain note in this fragrance that we what both love. What is it? What is it? <gasps> is it? Could it's it Patch. <gasps> patch. Yes! <laughs> We're talking about Ligno from the House of Jeroboam, who we are fans of, right? Big fans. What are your favorite uh, fragrances from... I have been wearing the heck out of Hoto or Hoto, however you say it. This the Two winter. Bros one? Yeah, it's great for the colder weather. It's beautiful. But this one's all about patchouli. Indeed. Launched last year, but recently making its appearance. And uh, I have a full bottle to review for you today. We're also doing a full bottle giveaway for subscribers of this channel from the USA. Thanks to the distributor of uh, Jeroboam. So if you want to find out about Ligno, plus hear a little bit about Origino, please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. That's right, today we're talking about Ligno, a recent release or launch from Jeroboam. And we're also going to tell you a little bit about Origino because Origino stands for original, basically is the musk that um, all the fragrances in the Jeroboam collection uh, are using. So basically this is like the base um, and also you can use it as a layering tool as well. So we'll tell you all about these two and uh, so if this is your first time tuning into the channel and you love watching fragrance reviews, finding out about new fragrances and discovering new brands and of course participating in giveaways and still haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So the first time I smelled this it was almost a year ago in uh, Milan at the Exxon's uh, uh, conference. And I immediately loved it because of the patchouli note, because it is all about patchouli. But I do get uh, animalic touches with this one um, when I wear it. Um, and that there's a castorium note in here that uh, is very, very prominent. But it's really nice. It doesn't scream animalic, but it's there when you like really like focus on the notes and it comes out. But this one is a 2019 launch. It's x de Parfum Concentration. They're 30 ml bottles for $120, $120. Perfumer of all the fragrances is Vanina Muracchiole, is what her last name is. She's also done some fragrances for Javoy, and Javoy and Jeroboam are uh, from the same uh, owners, so they're two different uh, brands. And with this one with notes, you've got at the top bergamot, clary sage, pine, geranium, patchouli. In the heart, you've got patchouli, orris butter, castorium, and saffron. In the base, you have patchouli, musk, labdanum, ambergris, and ambroxan. So they're using ambergris and ambroxan. And as you notice, I've read patchouli in all three stages. So you've got patchouli at the top, patchouli in the heart, patchouli in the base. It's a patchouli fragrance, right? Indeed it is. So what do you like about this one? So when we met up today for lunch, um, Sebastian was wearing it, and it was this um, almost alcoholic, sort of slightly medicinal, um, almost stern patchouli um, that went really well with the leather jacket he was wearing. It's a very, um, not adult like in a pervy way, but it's a grown-up fragrance. Uh, mature. Yeah, but mature sounds like grandma, and it's not. It's, <laughs> it's just, it's... It's um, dense. It's robust. All of the all of the weird, strange words that are coming to mind. When you say dense, robust, it's basically what I've come to know about this house, because they're extra de parfum fragrances, meaning the biggest or the the most concentrated forms of perfume we can buy. Um, so it it is very big. They're powerful experiences. Little goes a long way when you're wearing them. Right? I found that with Hauto this winter. The concentration is just really, really big and the wearing experience is also big. Everything lasts a long time. This one actually also a little bit hints at something that we spoke about recently uh, in a, a, a video, my haul video where we talked about the vintage fragrances. That was a fun video. Uh, we spoke about a fragrance there called um, Balenciaga Porum. So that was a patchouli focused fragrance. For some reason, this one's reminding me of that fragrance. And if you guys have been longing for that fragrance, this is definitely one for you to try. As What's far that patchouli with the black bottle and the wooden cap, also Italian, because the medicinal quality of this one is... Oh, are you talking about the I Profumi di Firenze? Maybe. We did a video of it together with their sweet patchouli. Maybe. I don't find them very similar. I find that one to... No, I can see the medicinal qualities of yes, it, but there's something ambery in here that's not present in there. I find that one to be more dry and um, 
dusty mm. compared to this one smoother. This one, yeah, this one has an alcoholicness that's almost like the tower patch flash or like the... Oh, the booziness. Yeah, yeah. Boozy, not alcohol. not alcoholic. Okay, right. But there's no, there's nothing listed. Yeah, like there's that. no mention of booze in here. So I don't know where you're getting it from. But are you wearing it? From me. Well, I drank a couple of glasses of something. A snifter before you <laughs> met me for lunch. No, but the, this is a unique patchouli for me. Um, I think it's because of those stages of patchouli in the top and the heart and the base. It's just all about patchouli and everything that you experience with it is almost like coming in and coming out or going out, but it's staying patchouli in the top, it's staying patchouli in the heart, it's staying patchouli in the base. So I experience the castorium a lot in here, but I also experience lots of amber. But it's just all about patchouli. And then here's a little amber. It's all about patchouli. Here's a little castorium. It's all about patchouli. Here's a little bit of bergamot. But it's very like, as he's gesturing with his hands, I'm getting wafts of it. It's, 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 um, it's got a beautiful proje projection. Um, I, I do get the sort of slight sweetness of the amber. Maybe that's what that's from. And, um, but overall, it, it is a patchouli, but it's patchouli done well. Is this patchouli that you would wear? I don't know. Um, I'd have to see how it goes on me. It's, uh, it's quite masculine on you, but you are masculine, so. Well, thank you for letting me know that. You, I, <laughs> Um, so at first spray, very, very dense, almost animalic, like there's almost an oud kind of quality to it, like, um, that sort of, um, uh, almost stickiness. Oh. Um. Wow, the, it's so different on you. Every time. Wow. Yeah. This is very dramatic different. Yes. It's... I kind of like it more on you than me. <laughs> um, give it time. Give it time. Precedent suggests. Wow, I don't get the castorium off of you. I did just spray it though, and it is just changing. Wow. The amber's there though. To me, it smells more like psychedelic on you than me. It smells more like castorium and oud. I mean, oud of uh, castorium and patchouli. It does smell like oud though. No, I, I didn't mean to say oud. But it does smell like oud on me. It smells like psychedelic on you. That too. Interesting. Well, let's give it a minute while we talk or while we wait for this to evolve on my skin. We should talk about origino, or origino, origino, yes. Which is, uh, it's all about that base, as the song says. Um, this. Let's talk about the base, baby. You tell them what's in it. It's <laughs> so origino is a fragrance I wanted to point out to you guys, and a lot of brands are coming out with their like their base or their musk. This is basically a musk, basically a musk. <laughs> <sighs> This is basically a musk and um, whatever they use in here is in the base of here or is in um, the DNA and I shouldn't say the base, it's the DNA of these fragrances. And this basically consists of juniper, sandalwood, nutmeg, musk, bergamot, pink pepper. And it's basically a musk cocktail to me. Jeez. You can wear it on its own and it basically brings out uh, the muskiness with your mixed with your body chemistry or you can spray it on and then spray on whatever fragrance from the brand and it, it, it kind of like creates a cocktail of this and then this or the other fragrance or whatever. And we were talking right before this video, it's like the juniper berry and the pink pepper, I think, are what really kind of take this to the next level and make it not just another musk or not just another, nothing against a basic musk. They're lovely to wear, but this origino is not it's not just a base. It is in its own right lovely. Yeah. Um, it's a very aromatic and spicy musk to me. Uh, it's not one of your like warm and soft and um, animalic kind of musk. It's just created more with like aromatic and woody notes to create a musk. Yeah, and it's the, um, I don't really get the sweetness from the nutmeg, but uh, it's really the juniper berry and or the pink pepper that are standouts. To start, it's very, 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 very much about the pink pepper, but I think the juniper The is, juniper kind of It's not pops. juniper berry, sorry, it's just juniper. Yeah, the juniper just pops. And again, the name is Origino. It's the original, or the originator is what it stands for, and it, that is basically on in all of the fragrances from Although you Durable. don't see that stuff listed in the notes that are on like Fragrantica or whatever for Ligno. No. Or, you know, they, they're not putting juniper or pink pepper. No. 
Um, it's just part of the DNA. Just like the Tower Odd with Andy Towers Tower Perfumes, Origino it's, uh, is the Jeroboam DNA. And on me, back to this, Ligno, it is... Um, okay, I'm, now it's becoming more like what I have on. Mm -hmm. But it, it is more like a, a an oudy patchouli, even though there's no oud. Uh, on me, the ambergris maybe is, or the castorium, are making it a, a slightly animalic patchouli, but not over any line that I can't tolerate. It's it's just, a, it's got a very, like it's got some heft. It's, it has real depth and kind of darkness it's hairy. to it. I didn't say that. <laughs> can I smell it again? You can. I think it suits you very well. Thank you. Yeah, I think it complements you perfectly. I smell nice. Yeah. We both love patchouli. Um, that has perhaps been communicated. Now, do you think this fits the line pretty good? Or do you think they should have done it a different direction? Or what are, you th what are your thoughts about that? I hadn't thought about that. The display cases I've seen uh, for the Jeroboam line have like a set opening for a certain number of bottles and with Ligno or however you say it, Ligno. it's basically filled. Um, so I thought, oh, well, that's sad, they're done. But actually for a capsule collection of a, of a sort, it's got a nice diversity. Uh, Hauto is a tuberose. There's another one that's a white floral that's um, it's called. It's not called Bohemia, but it's something. Bo Boho. Or? Something. Yeah, but it's not. Boha. Boha. It looks like it should be, but uh -huh. that's not how you say it. Oh, okay. People, people who know will comment. It's. It does look like Boha, but that's and that one's quite lovely as well. So that's kind of femme bright white florals, um, done well. Everything in this line is done well. You have the origino or original one, which yeah. is sort of a peppery, musky loveliness. Uh, Ligno is. The patchouli. The patchouli, but Insulo is, is that the gourmand? Insulo is the vanilla. Right. I um, love that one. That's like one of the best vanillas. It's very strong and concentrated, but also very peppery and spicy. But um, there's Oriento and there's a few others as, as well. I confused Oriento with Ori Origino you know, for a long time because the bottle is very sort of, um, it's got this great sort of deco kind of font. Sorry if you probably can't see it. Yeah, the, the, the bottles are great. Um, and so I, you know, I just looked at the first two letters and they both start and end with <laughs> O oh. and couldn't figure out why I was getting such a different scent experience uh, with them. But it's, it's, they're each, everything has its place. I think the two that are most similar are Boho and Hauto, but when you smell them next they're to each so other, different. they're actually very different. Yeah. Um, but you know, you've got a gourmand, you've got a patchouli, you've got a floral or two, you've no. got, it's a gourmand. They got the Rosen Oud. And do they? Yeah, the Oriento is a Rosen Oud. Ah, yes. <clears throat> but yeah, it's a great collection. I think what I like about this, and they're compact bottles, they're not too expensive, they're concentrated, they last a long time. One spray. Uh, one spray is, is is you know max, uh, and those of you that like it stronger, you you can do two or yeah, three this sprays. Yeah, this is very nice. You like it? Mm -hmm. You do enjoy it? Yeah, I do like it too. I've been waiting for it. It's finally here, and glad we're doing this video together since we both patch hose, and we do have a full bottle giveaway as mentioned. Uh, please, uh, if you want to participate in in this um, giveaway, let's have you put down what they should do next. What do you mean what they should do next? Well, if Jeroboam was going to put another... Um, yeah, tell us which fragrance should they do next. What category or what type? Like, You're probably going to have to do a little research to find out what they're not covering. Do a little research and come back and let us know what style should they do next. And also let us know if you like the idea of Ligno. It is animalic a little bit, guys. And we looked it up. It means like tree, a, a tree wood, or something, yeah. which is sort of... From what I remember, this is in Esperanto. Do you know this language? Esperanto. I don't know anything about it. I've never okay. heard of it. Well, look it up. That's your research. Thanks so much for watching this review for Ligno. If you have any questions or comments, please do let, uh, let us know. Make sure to participate in the giveaway by also including your state. This is a USA only giveaway. Thanks to the wonderful folks behind the brand. Other than that, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Nice. And I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.